Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of June general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was... I know I'm going to botch this name up, but <laughs> you guys know I always leave the songs in the description box below so you just click it and go to the video. Um, Charchez La Ghost by Ghostface Killer. Again, I'll leave a link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. I can't remember um, the original name, the original song, but it's, this is a sample. It's a sample of a song and they just you know made it into a hip-hop song. And I'm going to tell you guys, like I have been getting for the past couple of weeks, I've been guided to look at the artist's zodiac signs that resonate with the songs on our channel. And Ghostface Killer actually happens to be a Taurus just like yourself. So this may apply to you. You may be doing this or... I'm getting like something intuitively is hitting you that something is coming in, okay? So I'm going to tell you the message that I got was you will be visited by a ghost soon. I'm not joking. I heard that like immediately after I heard the song, I heard you will be visited by a ghost soon, but not the way you think. I feel like somebody who ghosted you or someone who just disappeared out of your life with no explanation, no answers, no nothing, they trying to bring their ass back into your life, okay? I'm going to tell you the energies that I got at the very back of the deck, right? You have the death card. Is this not ghostly almost looking energy? So you have Scorpio right here with the death card. You have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with um, the Page of Cups. So first thing I know is you got two pages here. So I feel like in the past, this person that whoever you think about, like when I said this, whoever you thought about immediately, that's who the hell coming back. This is somebody that you're not with right now. You may not have heard from this person for a while. You may have thought this situation was dead and done. Because you have Major Arcana, the death card. So this is something that has some type of finality. Major Arcana is definite. So something definitely ended, okay? I feel like in the past, this individual was um, immature financially and emotionally. You got cups, emotions, and feelings. And then you have pentacles, stability, finances, um, structure, stability, your physical body, and things like that. I, I feel like it could be two people. Okay, these two people could have been younger than you for some of you all. And then for others, this could be the same person because you see how he's looking in the direction of the Page of Pentacles. So for a lot of you all, this could be the same person. And this person was just immature all around. And that's what led to some type of ending. Now, whether you, I don't feel like a lot of you all ended it. I feel like this person ended it because they weren't mature enough because you have two pages here. This person was not mature enough to just address it head on. So they ghosted you or... They they were very dismissive is what I'm getting for a lot of y'all. This person was dismissive to the point where you just stopped responding to their phone calls because it was just something. Something wasn't right about the situation with this individual. Their first, middle, last initial could be C-G-M-W-H-K. I'm also getting O. First, middle, last initial of you or your person in this situation. Yeah, with these two pages right here, like I said, the fact that he's heading towards both the page pentacles and the death card. This person, I feel like, okay... I'm telling you, if you're dealing with a water sign specifically, I feel like this person knew. Also, intuitively, they knew. Because you see how you see the colors in the card, those blues and purples. That's like your heightened senses, like your crown chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra. This person knew. They knew that you were going to ghost them. Or they knew that you weren't very happy with their behavior. And so that might be why they ghosted you. Or they were pulling back. They didn't know how to address things. On a mature level. That's overall what I'm getting. I'm really getting that to be the case. Okay. So I'm going to tuck these in here randomly. And then we're going to shuffle up right until we get you guys Major Arcana. Which will be the Hierophant. We get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers for both. Yeah. They knew they didn't have much to offer you with the Four of Cups here. He's just looking at that cup but he's not accepting it. For a lot of you all, this person has very strong water in their chart. Or they could be coming in towards you all. In cancer season, which is uh, like literally a couple days from now. This person could be coming in towards you in cancer season with the four of cups. Possibly four days into cancer season for a lot of you all. Yeah, this person has been through a lot. Nine of wands, wounded warrior. You went through a lot to heal and move on from this individual also. Ooh, this person definitely could have been a karmic. You have the devil. Okay, this could also be a Capricorn individual. This person was just... I feel like fears... And insecurities, because the devil is also the god of insecurities. You know, they, they push those negative thoughts on you. This person could have been insecure about their um, finances. 
insecure about their lifestyle. And I do feel like for a lot of y'all, this was a karmic um, soulmate that you were connected to is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get you guys major arcana. Again, the hair font. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we'll get clarifiers for both for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Now, it didn't take that long for me to get to you guys' cards. So, again, I feel like this is going to happen fairly soon. And for a lot of you all, I do feel like it's going to be cancer season. Okay? So, you have your major arcana. Right in front of it, you have the five of wands, conflicts, arguments, and disagreements. And then the ten of wands. Right behind it, you have the hermit. Okay. Yeah. Virgo energy with the hermit. But I want you to see this. The ten of wands, he's walking towards the hermit. Somebody has had some type of enlightenment. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Sag, Aries, as you are surrounded by fiery energy. Okay, this could also be your sun, moon, or rising, however this fits for you. But whatever the case, somebody was like, I'm tired of carrying this heavy load, this heavy burden. I'm also hearing that somebody feels like they've been burned a lot in love. Okay, because if you look at this, you got a lot of fire here. Somebody feels like they've been burned in love. And I feel like this last situation where there was conflict, Possibly being cheated on, a lot of deception, people in your business, because there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of conflict. I feel like somebody is like, I've carried this load far too long. Now I want to seek enlightenment because I want I want to find out why am I attracting this type of person? Why is this constantly happening to me? You see how they're walking towards each other? He has this lantern lit right in front of him. So, and this is very spiritual. You know, this is a major arcana, so this is definite. For a lot of y'all, somebody is dead. Oh, okay. So I'm hearing this also. If you notice right here, my solar plexus is where this is tied up. You see there's a knot there. And somebody feels as though a lot of situations, a lot of burdens in love has affected them on a, as far as their confidence. And right up under here, you have the temperance card. There's definitely some healing. Okay. Tempering yourself, balancing things out. A lot of you guys are on a spiritual journey right now, for sure. Look at them. They're going the same direction. It took a lot of time, but you're finally at a place where you're realizing it's time for you to possibly be alone for a while, or it's time for you to realize that you have snakes on your path. These people possibly never meant you any good. Because there's a lot of conflict here, for sure. You know, there's no getting around that. Let's put this. This is here. This is there. There, there. Okay. So, yeah. You see how he was walking towards the five of wands. A lot of you all are realizing you're being illuminated. You see how this sun, that beam of light is coming from behind him? You're being illuminated that you are possibly connecting people who are causing nothing but chaos and drama and causing you strife and heaviness and, and discontentment, this rapport in your life. And you you're be, you have two, you know, both of these are energies of enlightenment, you know, and you're realizing that. And I'm going to be honest with you. For some of you all, you may have reconnected with someone already. And it's like you th you're you thinking about possibly trying to work things out. But then you're going to realize that you and this person are no longer even on the same path anymore. He's on a path alone. You're on a different path, different journey. And you're realizing that this person is a past person. You're going to have to let them go. And you may end up ghosting them. Like you may reconnect or allow this person to communicate with you. You may even go out with this person a couple times, may text or, you know, call each other a lot. But I feel like something's going to hit you like, yeah, no, we're not even on the same path. We, we're on two completely different wavelengths. Our energy is completely different. You are one of burden. I'm one of enlightenment. You know, that's what I'm getting here. So let's go ahead and part the deck, the bottom of the deck. Yeah. A lot of y'all are standing up for yourself, even though she's literally sitting. That sword is standing at attention. I always tell you guys, sort up yes, sort down no. Okay, so I'm going to say again, some of you guys could be communicating with this person. And I feel like you're just going to realize like this person is nothing but a burden. They're nothing but drama, you know. And I feel like you may use this sword to cut this individual off. Also, you may say something that's very cutting to this individual as well. I'm going to say again, I feel like some of you all are ghosting somebody. Because I feel like when this person comes back, they're going to think that they can just bounce back the same way that they did when you guys were connected in the past. But mm -mm, you guys are on a completely different level, vibrating very, very, very high. Your frequency is very high, Taurus, is what I'm getting. That's part of the deck. And it feels like it took a long time, but it's finally here. Like stability is here. You guys have fought long and hard for some type of peace. Because I always tell you guys, knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. He's coming out of battle. You may even feel stagnant. Some of you guys may have put on some extra weight also. I'm going to say that. Because you see how heavy this horse looks. Some of you guys could have put on some weight in your midsection. 
I also feel like if you have, you're cutting that, you're getting ready to cut that, that weight out. Yeah, because I just heard lean, some of you guys. Okay, so you guys could have been dealing with some type of depression. And you were probably stress eating or not being as active. And if you, if, if this is your first time watching my channel, I'm a Taurus moon and Taurus Mercury also. So I get that energy because moon is your emotion. So my Taurus moon definitely resonates with that energy. You could, you could kind of get comfortable or you could focus on other things, but not focus on the physical sometimes when you're going through a heavier time. And so that could be an energy for some of y'all, but I, I feel like you're cutting that shit out because she has a back turn towards it. Like no more slow pace, no more stagnancy. I want nothing but forward movement. And that's exactly what you guys are moving towards, forward movement, you know. Also, I want to say, because I didn't mention this, this was right, you know, you had the temperance card right behind the um, hermit. Some of you guys can be dealing with Sagittarius because you do have two fiery energies right here. And the temperance does resonate with Sag. So some of you guys definitely could be dealing with Sag or something that happened in Sag season of 2021. And Sag season is November, December. Okay, so put that where it applies. Let's get a clarifier for the Five of Swords as well as the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, the, the Five of Wands as well as the Ten of Wands. And it's interesting also because you got from the Five to the Ten, so something has doubled in magnitude. Like I said, I just feel like you guys are like doubling up. You guys are in a more powerful state. You are, your energy is amplified. You're more aware. You're no longer confused. You got the seven of cups in reverse, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. And then you have the ace of swords of right. And that will be you guys' energy. And even though you guys, you know, are earth signs, what I'm getting is that, you know, the ace of swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. A lot of you all in a hand is turned away from the seven of cups in reverse. A lot of you all are no longer confused. You have a lot of, um knowledge in your situation right now your understanding of things is different you're focusing on yourself not allowing it, it somebody just brought a lot of drama in your life i'm gonna be honest with you also this could have happened in may also because you do have the five of wands we just left may not that long ago there could have been a lot of drama bottom of the day <laughs> you have the tempest card reverse some of you guys definitely lost patience with a situation okay is and i've been getting that since the beginning like you were done Excuse me, you were done with people who were giving you a lot of drama, bringing heaviness into your life. You guys got spirit guys watching over. Yeah, you guys going through a spiritual journey. I just heard unveiling, like the veil has been lifted. You guys no longer see the world the way that you used to. And I, I definitely feel like, oh yeah, the veil has been lifted when it comes, comes to this person also. You no longer see this person as somebody you're even attracted to. It may have just been history because, you know... The hair fine does talk about traditionalism, you know, because, you know, you guys are a fixed sign. So whatever placement this is in your um, chart, you could be very fixed minded when it comes to those areas. And especially when it comes to matters of heart and love, you may want somebody that you have history with because you know this person and you guys know how to deal with each other. But a lot of you are like, I'm done with that. This is this is um, I don't have patience for this anymore with the temperance card in reverse. OK, again, Sagittarius energy. Let's get a clarifying for the five of wands, okay? Nope, then, okay, it is. I was gonna say, if it don't flip out, I'll take it. You got the queen of wands. You guys are definitely dealing with fire, so yeah, look at this. Definitely dealing with a fire sign. You got ten of cups in reverse, and then you have the high priestess in reverse. Wow. Now, <laughs> some of you guys, this could definitely have been a divorce, okay? I'm gonna tell you why, because you have the high priestess in reverse. The high priestess is the hair font's um, divine counterpart. This is their spouse. So to have this in reverse, this definitely could be a divorce, especially with the Ten of Cups right up under your card. Some of you guys are definitely separated from someone. If you weren't legally married to this individual, there's a separation. I feel like this person, again, somebody's going to try to come back towards you. It could be more secrets because you have this black cat in front of her. Black cats denote the energy of mystery, secrecy, okay? I feel like this person is going to try to come back. This person is a karmic for sure. They're a karmic. Um, whether you were married to this person or not, this person was a karmic. I just heard entanglement. You see how the lion's hands are together, almost like they're entangling or some, like some type of combat or <laughs> fisticuffs. This person, and when I say fisticuffs, it's making me think that this person is going to try to fight their way, okay, back into your life. Because they know that some type of structure, family structure has ended with the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is definitely, you can have a child or children with them. In reverse, this is definitely like a happily ever after going rogue. Like this is done. A lot of you all weren't listening to your intuition in the past when it came to this individual. 
You or your person's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, M, W, or H. B, T, J, C, U, M, W, or H. First, middle, last initial of you or your person. Um, Piscean energy here. You have the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So a water sign also could be relevant to the situation. Something could have happened in October of last year. You could have been with this person for 10 plus years because you do have two tens here. You have Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups in reverse. So some of you guys could have an extended period of history with this individual. And this is why this person refuses to give up also. Also with this, it could be, this. you guys could have quite a few kids also or a combined family. And somebody's trying to fight for the family unit. Or that's what they're saying when they try to come back in. Because somebody's trying to come back in. And for those of you who are single and you don't have this situation, you don't have children with this individual or you've been single for a while, it, do, it, it doesn't matter. It looks like somebody from your past is going to try to come back in. Or for some of you all, and this would be a small percentage, you are leaving something that was very chaotic and toxic and somebody who is more stable and secure and very confident is coming in towards you all. Okay, strong Leo energy there. Let's get it clear. You had nothing but fire here surrounding you all. Nothing but fire. Let's get a clarifying for the Ten of Wands. Clarify for Ten of Wands for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ten of Wands for Taurus, okay? Hmm. Justice card, Libra energy. Right up under that, you got the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody, again, I'm going to say this has to do with marriage or a contract, some type of karmic contract you have with someone. You guys are putting the answer to that karmic contract because, again, I'm going to say it's nothing but drama. It brought you nothing but drama, nothing but chaos. Um, You guys are balancing the scales. The universe is definitely balancing the scales. That sword is up, sword up, yes, sword down, no. Again, justice is talking about karmic contracts, life contracts like marriages, um, a home, you know, when you sign an lease, a mortgage. So some of you guys also could be trying to fight your way out of some type of contract that you had with someone that you were dealing with on a domestic capacity also. Yeah, I'm getting that also. Yeah, yeah, because right up under here, look at that. You have the seven of pentacles. So some of you guys are like, you see that this situation has is dying, it's, it's done, it's over with, but you're still somehow attached to it and you can't move away from it completely because there could be finances involved. And I feel like this would be you, Taurus, because you do have pentacles here. You could have felt like, you know what, I'm I'm tired of this situation. I want to I want to be done because right upon it, you got the um, page of swords. You want to cut this situation out. You want to be free. Some of you guys could be thinking about going to court. I'm also hearing right now that somebody is like just looking at their losses. You see how he's looking directly at those dead leaves. And, you know, leaves talk about growth. And for them to be dead, somebody is just realizing, like, I put a lot of work effort and energy into something to build something to accomplish something and it's just all dwindling away you know i'm getting that also but now i'm hearing like that somebody has some type of pep in their stuff now like they're ready to move on i feel like a lot of you all are ready to move on I, you know again source communication mental somebody may be putting in some type of paperwork i'm, I'm really getting something with court paperwork legalities somebody could be filing for divorce some divorce could be finalized again if you're not married you could be giving somebody the what for. You could be telling somebody about their damn self, okay? I'm getting that also. And I keep hearing, it again, something with somebody being ghosted, somebody being visited by a ghost, not a physical, like a literal ghost. Like, boo, not that. I'm talking about, like, somebody who legit ghosts you. Or this person could just come out of the blue, like, where the hell did you come from? I haven't heard from you in years. And now, all of a sudden, here you come, you know, trying to make your presence known in my life again. Because I'm just looking at how... These are clouds in the background, but it's almost like he came out of fog and just appeared. Like this person just appeared out of nowhere. For some of y'all, this person may have appeared in Gemini season as we do have swords here. And it's like, it's, they're making you think all over again about the losses that you had to take because of them. Because th there was losses with this Ten of Wands. There were heavy burdens, heavy losses. But I'm going to tell you, I feel like things are going to go in your favor. Things are going to be balanced on your behalf. For sure. Because that's your, that's your Major Arcana clarifier. You know, Major Arcana energy is definite. And it didn't come in reverse. So things, whatever, however this person is coming towards you. And I want you to see how these are on the table. Look how she's looking at this individual. This is how it is on the table here. Whatever it is, is going to go in your favor. And both of your clarifiers are up right now. There are reversals in the deck now. It's going to go in your favor. And I feel like this person is going to be happy about it. Especially if you're dealing with a fire sign or this happens in fire sign season. Specifically in um July. Leo season starts in July. Because I just want you to see all everything that you have here is fire with the exception of 
the justice card libra i feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign this person must be salty as hell because they're going to be on the losing end of things. Now, if you have strong fire sign placements in your chart, because again, I feel like this would be positive for you. I feel like you have been through literally hell and high water, and now things are becoming established and balanced for you when it comes to matters of the heart and matters of love. Somebody was trying to take advantage of you, and you are coming out victorious. Like all areas of your life are getting ready to be balanced. Like all areas is what I'm getting. Okay? So Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.